Although we each have our own set of traits, sometimes it's useful to think about traits among a population of individuals. For example, a population is a particular group or type of people in an area. So although there are many ways to identify a population, a common metric is geography, as you can see here with a map of the world. Just as people and families share common traits because they're genetically related, and they share a common environment, some geographic populations share common traits because, like families, they're also genetically related and share a common environment. For example, here's a map of the world divided by countries showing you the breakdown for the trait of sex. For our purposes, sex simply means whether or not you have male or female reproductive organs. Now, it is true that it's possible to have both male and female reproductive parts, and those are called intersex individuals, but for our purposes, we're only going to consider two categories in the meantime. In our world map here, the redder a country seems, the more males to females it has in its population. And the more blue a country appears, the more females to males you have in that country. The closer it is to a more neutral color, white, so a, a lighter blue, a lighter red, or a white color, in fact, this means that the male and female ratio is roughly equal. So what I want you to do is look at the map here and tell me which two geographic regions in the map here have the highest imbalance of either males or females. Is it Canada, Russia, China, Saudi Arabia, Australia, or Brazil? Remember, I want you to pick two geographic regions that have the highest imbalance of either males or females. So remember to use the legend over here and then look at the map to see if you can figure out which countries have the highest imbalance.